All right, guys, as you guys know, I'm a fellow Gen Z Brit, all the way from the UK. So we're going to be learning English today, guys. So I thought, let me, you know, verify this. Let me see if this is a worthy lesson. I am the English learning person critic today. So um, for those of you guys that aren't from the UK, you guys are going to be, um, I'm going to be verifying this for you. Okay, I'm gonna do guys. Of course, if you, to, if you want to continue going down these rabbit holes and finding these videos that are from freaking Narnia, then continue to smash that like button and let me know who else you want to check out or what else you want to check out. And of course, if you guys love what I'm doing on the channel, we always put out some more quality content for you guys. Then consider supporting the channel by not only subscribing and turning on those post notifications, but if you want to go an extra mile and donate and such like that, the best way you could do that will be linked to my PayPal and my Patreon. And on my Patreon, I'm doing some exclusive bonus content for you guys. So if you also want something in return that's a great way to support and get something back but guys look with that being said let's get straight into this video let's go Jamaican music hello and welcome to learn English with Ricky Gervais Learn English with Ricky Gervais. Okay, this is going to be on serious, I reckon. I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Carl Pilkington. All right. I won't be <laughs> speaking your language. I won't be translating. What was that awkward silence just then? Like. With me, Carl Pilkington. All right. That smile. I won't be speaking your language. I won't be translating what I say. I'll just be speaking English, okay? The translation will come up on the bottom of the screen. Okay. Hey, this is going to be interesting as well because me being British, I'm an Englishman, so I want to actually see how he's going to go about this because, like, I would like to think I know English quite well. Um, uh, so let's see, what, let's see, man. This is my friend, <clears throat> Carl Pilkington. He is bold. He is bold. He has no hair. Carl Pilkington has no hair. Yeah, I know. They can see I've got no hair. No, I know. Well, what, what do they need to know that for? If they learn a, a language, yeah. bold isn't a, bo a bald head isn't isn't that important? <laughs> Teach him how to ask for bread or milk. <laughs> bread we'll get to that. Milk. But this is about sort of friendship and family, you know. So, it's all useful. There's so many words, you know, they might as well start somewhere. There's too many words. Too many, right. A lot of words. He started off saying he's bald. Lot of words. <laughs> this is so awkward. So you say it. Carl Pilkington is bold. Carl Pilkington is bold. Carl Pilkington has got a head like a fucking orange. <laughs> right, I really don't know why they need to learn this. Because they might need to say that one day. No, but I get enough abuse now from English people. I don't want Chinese suddenly turning up going, about fucking orange. <laughs> <laughs> Teach them how to say milk. I need milk. Milk for tea. Milk for tea. Coffee. That's very English. Teach them useful stuff. Okay, well, do, well, 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 go and teach them something then. Who am I talking to? People around the world, they can't speak English yet. So what are they? Well, so, Chinese, Chinese. Well, doesn't the ones do, okay, what? I've been to China and none of them know English. Right. So they need to learn English. Oh, God. Okay. So, um, what would they want to know? You see, they don't need to know about milk because they don't like milk. <laughs> they think English people smell of milk. They smell of milk. Oh, my days. Smell. What does smell mean, Carl? <laughs> Why is he talking like one of these robots? Like Smell. What does smell mean, Carl? Smell. Um, stink. Fucking hell, you smell. <laughs> Rank. <laughs> They're not gonna need to know. Rank. So you've got a Chinese Rank. fella, he's coming over here and he's learned the word Rank, Rank meaning you stink. They don't need to know right. Smell. Stank. Stunk. <laughs> that stunk. <laughs> Give an example. Um, you smell. You shit. <laughs> oh, 
this is... <laughs> Because you told me you <laughs> said they want to know about smell. Yeah, right. But why are you teaching them without prepositions and proper gra- Why are you teaching them to speak like this? Mmm, stink, you shit. Why are you teaching them to speak? Uh, to just speak proper English. Yeah. Right, okay then. Um... Always speak proper English. <laughs> okay, tell them. Um... So what, what do they want to know? Well, what's, what smell mean? This, okay, smell. This is about, so we're featuring okay, the word okay, right, smell. Right. Smell. This is about the word smell. Right, when something smells, they know what it means. It's when something um, stinks. When it well, no, it doesn't always mean that, because it, it's also a oh, verb. Right, a nice smell. It's also a verb to smell. Right, right. It's a verb. Smell is a verb. <laughs> yes, but what we've I got to remember... I love the way Ricky keeps panning to the camera. And talking proper English as if, like, you know, this is going to actually be what they're going to use to teach them. But this this dynamic here is so messy, bro. Like, Carl is, and Carl is, this is a messy dynamic. It's a verb. Smell is a verb. Yes, but what they've got to remember is if they go up to someone and go, you smell, it's not always positive. You right. wouldn't, you, you, you say you smell nice. Right. But if you say you smell, They'll get a smack in the face. <laughs> smack in the face. Smack in the face. Carl, what's a smack in the face? <laughs> when someone thumps you. Thump. <laughs> Why are you saying thump? <laughs> even, I know a thump would be easier, but no one outside of the UK, Britain, that even grew, grew up in these, these area from, like, young, is going to know what that means. I'm sure a lot of you, my American audience, and everyone that's outside the UK does not know what a thump means. We could probably imply, but like, what is Carl? Carl's like trying to teach them English that they're just not, people are going to understand, bro. Worst English That's lesson crazy. ever. Right, okay. Um, do you... That's true. It's fun. <laughs> okay. What would they want to let you see? That's why we've got to focus on. Are we focusing on Chinese? No. Well, just... we should because <clears throat> different people want different things. Right. So, what would Chinese want? They come to England. Right. What do they want? Wonder, wh Why are you talking to me like I can't understand? Because English I'm now? trying to think how what to be clear to them. Oh god. Okay. So I'm okay. dropping out. So forget where they come from, wherever they come from in the world, they all want the same things. Mm -hmm. No, okay. but but words don't mean the same thing. At certain places, there's people where it stinks in the world. They wouldn't come to England and need to say it smells because they're from a smellier place. Oh, no, they're not. Yes, they are. <laughs> Give examples. Milk. Let's do milk. Okay. Let's do milk for anyone who isn't English. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, um, okay. We will act out a scenario now where you might need milk. Okay. Okay. Hello, Carl. All right. Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, strong. What tea bags have you got? <laughs> <laughs> that is a that is a that is a question I ask because it all depends on the amount of milk. Do you have Thai foo? That means more milk. And then that's not going to get you. <laughs> thai foo does not mean more milk. No, it's a very strong tea bag. Right. Twinings, little bit. This of isn't. They don't need to know the details. Um, this yeah. isn't a travel guide. This is just. This <laughs> is English for people right, who start can't again, speak English. Right. Okay. Right. Hello, Carl. Hiya. Would it's you like nice. a cup of tea? Yeah, I'd love one, I'm gasping. <laughs> How do you like it? Strong, no sugar. Tea bag, okay? What? <laughs> yeah, tea bag, yeah. This guy. This guy. That should be all right. Would you like some milk? Just a drop. A drop, not much. Would you like semi-skimmed milk? Yeah. Skim semi-skimmed milk. This is so British. Oh. <laughs> this... Right. Like, this is actually great acting, right? Carl is enjoying his tea. Oh, Ricky is. He had it strong with a drop of milk. So... That's the basics. Uh, uh, in England, we like to drink tea. We drink tea. We also drink coffee. We also drink beer. Let's go shopping. So, uh, I'll, I'll just come into a shop, okay? I can't believe this. 
String. Afternoon. Hello. Oh, yeah. I want a fish. What sort of fish do you want? We've got loads. What sort of fish are there? Loads. I haven't got time, to be honest. You've come in at a busy time. Have a look and come back to me. And I don't know what... What type of fish is this? That's a, a kipper. OK. A kipper. What's a kipper? <laughs> Chinese and Japanese know fish really well. Okay. They don't need, need Stop. to... Stop thinking we're just talking to Chinese and Japanese. I don't know where the Japanese came from. It's not just Chinese people. This is for anyone who wants to learn English. Anywhere around the world. They might be Spanish. They might be French. They might be German. Okay? This scenario... Why do you only care about the Chinese <laughs> learning about this? Because most Spanish people can speak English. They've been taught it. But right. all right, kipper. Okay. It's a fish. It's sort of um, a fishy sort of fish. Oh, there's some fish that's more meaty. Tuna. What sort of thing are you after today? Is this for you or for someone else? This is for me. I'd like to buy a fish, please. Right, but, you've, but surely you know what kipper is. Because you're Chinese. Look at it. Look at the fish. Here it's called kipper. Where are you from? <laughs> I don't speak English. What's going I'd on? I'd just wrap any old shit up and give it... <laughs> you like this. Tenor. Rip you off. Because I'm busy, and that's what happens in this country. That's what they want to be careful of if they're watching this. If you come into no. England, don't be ripped off. Rip off. He's taking it too seriously. Conned. Taken advantage of. Um, done up like a kipper. Done up like a kipper. Look at this foreigner. I done him up like a kipper. This is when English gets complicated because kipper... A lot of English words can mean many things. Um, where? Where? <laughs> Same word, different thing. Right, right. Wearing. Mm -hmm. Where have you been? Mm -hmm. I'm wearing a jumper. Where have you been? Where? <laughs> you can't take it. Brilliant. That was good, that was good. One word, two meanings. Okay. At the spa. <clears throat> Hello. I'd like to book an appointment for a treatment. Okay. When are you, um, when are you thinking? Um, we're busy all today. Tomorrow? <laughs> always busy. Can we just do it today? Can it just be available now? Can't we just do it that it's available now? There's nothing... It's, <laughs> well, all right, it's... I can fit you in. Someone hasn't turned up yet, so we can get you in... Sort of in 10 minutes. Okay. Why is he pissed? Why right. is he like agitated? Okay. <clears throat> what would you like? Um, I would like... That's a good attitude. A back, crack and sack waxing, please. Okay. I would like my back waxed, my crack waxed and my sack waxed. Oh my gosh. Right. Do you do the treatments yourself? No. I'd like you to. Well, I can't. Why not? Because I have to be on reception, taking calls. Well, okay. You can't request who's doing your sack, your crack, <laughs> or your back. There's a woman in the back who does your crack. <laughs> well, um... This <laughs> is <laughs> fucking insane. Right, that's enough. Wait, nah, no, I don't know what we're doing. I don't know who's going to learn anything. Wait, wait, that. wait, wait. Okay. Yo, this so, is so typical. Like, as a Brit, I can, from, this is so typical. Like, even how they're acting it out is so British as well. Like, even just how Carl is acting right now. is He's actually acting like how a lot of British people would act in these situations, but he's taking it too seriously. What we're doing, I don't know who's going to learn anything. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So, okay, right, okay. Okay. Well, ask me some questions about... Okay. Well, I, I don't okay. have to ask you any questions. I said okay. you can be going in 10 minutes. Okay. I'm not doing it. I'm a worker. Actually... I'm not paid or qualified to be sorting your wait, ass out. Wait, wait, okay, wait, wait, okay. <laughs> Actually, thinking about it, the hair on my crack hasn't grown back, nor has the hair on my back. But my sack is very hairy. <sighs> wait. My sack is very <laughs> hairy. Um, I, I don't need my back waxed. All my crack waxed, but I need my sack waxed. Right. Now, I'm surprised you haven't done it yourself. Because it's the back and the crack that's the difficult bit. The sack you can do yourself. 
Oh. And to be honest, it should all be growing at the same time. No. So there's something wrong with you. No. You've got a hairy bollock. <laughs> when your back, is, your back is lovely and bald. Right. You don't need it doing... Bald. Bald. Fuck's my, sake. my back is bald. Yeah. My crack is bald. My sack needs waxing. Right. Um, right. It's quite an emergency. My balls are very hairy. Can I have them waxed, please? Yes. How much just for the balls? Oh, my days. <clears throat> 15 pounds. For 15 two. pounds? For the both. For two. Okay, yes. that's good. So, 7.50 each. It's 7.50. Yeah, but we don't split it. That's, that's the price. Yes, yes. You can't have one done. No, it's I have 15 two. Pounds. I have two balls. I have two balls. How many balls do you have, Carl? Two. Carl has two balls. Are your balls How hairy? Average. No, why is this conversation okay. going there? Which is strange because Carl's balls are hairy, right, his head. but he is bald <laughs> on his head. His head looks like a ball. His head looks like a bald testicle. Oh my god. Carl He's has so a head serious. like a bald testicle, <laughs> but his testicles aren't bald. Okay, how long will it take? It's the way he's. It's the way Ricky's so unserious but serious at the same time. Like this is actually so funny. To wax my balls. Uh, ten minutes. Why are they talking about ten that? minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So it's um fifteen pounds, and ten minutes. Um, can you do it? Can you can you do it now, please? No, I won't be doing it. You'll Why? be meeting Leslie in the back room. Uh, oh, I don't really. I'm a little bit. Shy, I know you. Could you? You don't know me, you've just turned <laughs> up. Could you wax my balls? No, I'm not waxing your balls. Bollocks, uh, scrotum. <laughs> um, what else is the test eye? If you're having one done, <laughs> bollocks, <laughs> sack. <laughs> uh, oh. What else is it? Oh. Okay, okay, right. we've done, done that waxing. Okay. At the doctor's. Oh, God. Hello, doctor. I feel Hello. like Ricky's going to just turn this into another one of those conversations. It's like, how did we get here? Ricky, oh, my days. What is he going to say? At the doctor's. Hello, doctor. Hello. I have a pain. Okay, what's, where, whereabouts is the pain? My anus. Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky is unserious. <laughs> None of this is worth using learning in a language. You go home. If you're ill, go home. No, if, if, if a foreign fella is in this country... He and can they... go to the doctors and use our, our, our NHS system if he had an achy arse. He'd get on the first flight home. Why aren't you going travelling? You're here as a tourist. Yes. yes. Right, we'll see London. That's right. Instead of worrying about your airy <laughs> bollocks, right. see the London Eye. The London Eye. <laughs> the London Eye. Tower of London. Tower. These are things that are going to be useful right, to them. Right, okay. Right. Tower Great of tourist. London. London Eye. Buckingham Palace. Right, right. The Queen. Rest in peace. I've never been on holiday and had to have my anus seen to. I haven't had to have it seen to whilst I'm here, at home. Give him useful words. Fromage. Oh, God. <laughs> Why are you teaching them a French word Fromage. if we're teaching them English? I'm just saying useful phrases. Right. Uh, I've got a headache. Um, okay. What would you do, okay? What scenario would you do to teach them? Who Carl are you? will now teach you a useful <laughs> scenario. Yeah, who are you? Any, anyone you want me to be. What do you want to do? The bins haven't been emptied. Who, uh, uh, I mean, okay. The trash for those Americans. Who are you? You're making this scenario up. This so, is who, your... so who are you then, the council? <laughs> it's up to you. Right, you're my neighbour. Okay. Why do you keep putting bins out? The bin men doesn't come till Thursday. Right. You keep putting bins I'm out. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm very sorry. I'm having a bit of trouble. I woke up this morning and it's the worst it's ever been. I haven't got this stendous. <laughs> I've got a prolapse that's distended. My testicles are very, very low because I'm old. I'm lactating. Yeah, all right. 
Listen, can you just put the bins out on a Thursday? I can't do that. Put my, your bi- my balls yeah. are so low that I'm an old man. But can you put the bins oh out on a third? The bin men doesn't come till a oh Thursday, it's Tuesday. You're putting bins That's out too early, there's foxes getting at them, there's shit all over the place. <laughs> there's dirty underpants you keep putting in the bin. I've told you, it attracts foxes. Stop putting the fucking bins out through two fucking days early when they've got to sit there and it attracts you. I'm trying to sell me flat. These dirty, shitty undies all over the fucking pavement. <laughs> This has happened to you, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, yeah. <laughs> Does it really? Yeah, it has. What did you they do? They don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. Even I was like, yo, why is he actually speaking like it's actually happening? Like, this is, a, this is no longer teaching. This is he's just venting. <laughs> he's just venting at this point. And then why is Ricky the audacity to act as an able to put on an accent as gruesome as that and to start talking about how his thoughts He's just, yo, that last part was insanely hilarious. This whole freaking English lesson was the worst English lesson. As an English man myself, I, even I wouldn't, if I was a foreigner, you're not learning that. Nobody used to learn that kind of stuff. It's not going to be useful. The only people that are going to get that are people that are just born here and are used to this kind of stuff. This just seemed like two geezers in a pub just talking about nonsense and you know going off on something which is so typical but hilarious at the same time but to anyone outside of the uk it's just foreign like what there's no chinese person gonna need to know this in let alone any other person from any other country this was hilarious ricky i can never take ricky serious most unserious person i've ever met um, i've never met i've ever came one of co co comedians but he's also one of my favorites because he's actually just so funny man I, I don't know about carl but this was a great dynamic Carl just seemed like a normal everyday <laughs> guy in the UK, Brit. Um, and he's just fed up, man. He's fed up, man. They're not taking the bins. But guys, yeah, look, I can confirm that this one here was a terrible lesson. Um, please, I would uh, advise you going to other sources if you want to learn English. Um, take that from a fellow Englishman. Um, and guys, look, um, let me know what you thought of this one. He made this point. Comment down a yellow heart. And let me know what parts made you laugh the most. Did you? Maybe some of you guys out there who aren't from the UK understood it. And if you're from the UK as well, let me know what you thought of this, whether you agree or disagree. Do you guys actually agree with what I'm saying? Do you think this is a great lesson or not? I'll be very curious to find out. And guys, look, without me said, I'm no boy, Flex. This has been Learning English with Ricky Gervais and Carl Pilkington. And for those of you guys who made this point, you guys have been absolutely wonderful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.